Heartland fans, assemble. Our beloved Amber Marshall has a message for us. Don't worry, she says, Heartland will always remain wholesome. Now, you may question, why would she feel the need to make such a statement? Well, my bet is on the fact that the show has been receiving a bunch of criticism over Amy's entering into the dating world after Ty's death and looking for a new love. But let's take a few steps back and see what happened to Heartland since Ty's tragic death that led Marshall to make such an announcement. At the end of season 13, Ty Borden is attacked by a hunter in a tragic incident. At the time, it seemed like he was okay as he got medical treatment immediately. And we ended the season on a hopeful note, thinking that he would come out of this incident only stronger. Boy, were we wrong. In season 14's very first episode, we saw Ty falling over the floor and dying right then and there, as if it was nothing. He was simply hanging out with Amy in their ranch and there were no signs of him having a bad day or anything like that. Later on, we learned that he had a blood clot. And even though I found how the things fold very realistic, I also felt like it was very cruel of the show's writers to make him die this way. And I don't think I was alone in my sentiments. Besides, we should keep in mind that Ty has been there since the first episode of the show. In fact, the majority of the fans were watching the series simply for the sake of the love story between Amy and Ty. It was the perfect example of a healthy, slow burn romance that everyone desires to have. And no one expected their story to end this abruptly. As you can expect, Ty's departure from the show caused lots of drama and backlash from the fans, including me. For many of us, this is still one of the biggest disappointments that we ever had in a TV show. Nevertheless, I feel like a lot of people are also getting over his death now that it's been more than two years since he has gone. Personally, I'm still mad, but not as mad as giving up on the show. I'm still here for Amy and see what the future holds for her and her lovely daughter. And that's the exact point why many people are quite worried about the future of Heartland. Now that Amy is single, it is expected by everyone to see her entering into the dating world. After all, Heartland is a romantic show, even though it's not a romance per se. For many, it does not make sense to see Amy alone for the rest of her life, especially since she is still very young. For others, however, there's a very thin line between seeing Amy dating again and seeing Amy quickly forgetting about Ty and dating a bunch of men whom we do not care about. My understanding of the situation is that people want to see Amy happy but they don't want to see her finding happiness in a man other than Ty, which is understandable and yet not much realistic considering the circumstances. Also, it seems like people are loving the family-focused, wholesome aspect of Heartland. Thus, they don't want Heartland to turn into a regular TV show with a young woman searching for love. Casual dating is not the approach that people are hoping for Amy, so she needs to find a new true love. And yet, people don't want to see Amy falling in love with another man either. Besides, after watching a romance build up with Ty for years, it wouldn't be very believable to see her falling for a man in a couple of episodes. This puts the producers of the series into a difficult position, which means that Amy is still single years after Ty's death, and Amber Marshall feels like she has to ensure the audience that everything will remain the same no matter which approach they choose to continue with. Commenting on the show's long run, Marshall said the following in a recent interview. When I think about all the hours we have spent filming this show and I'm still not sick of it, so that's saying something. I think that's what makes us really lucky and what stands out about Heartland is that we get to see it all. We get to be a part of all the seasons and actually be outside enjoying the weather, she continued and added. The whole idea of Heartland is this nice family contentment and it's found right here. I think fans are really looking for a nice, wholesome, family show that they can sit down together and watch and not be worried about the content, not have to explain things to their kids. I think Marshall is completely right about her analysis of the Heartland fanbase. Yes, the fans love Amy and would still watch the show even if Ty is no longer there, but they also want to know that Amy is taking the right steps moving forward in a way that will not harm the show's reputation and outlook as a family-oriented, wholesome show. What do you think though? Would you like to see Amy dating and finding a new love in the new season? Or do you think she should continue the series as a single woman? How much do you care about the wholesomeness of the series? Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.